All right, so I first off want to say that, as many of you know, I'm an agnostic. I don't believe in taking political sides. In my personal opinion, I believe that there's a time to lean right and there's a time to lean left. If you lean one way all the time, you're going to be going in circles. Try to visualize that for a second until it makes sense. Now that said, I'm going to put myself into the mindset of somebody who does believe in the left-right paradigm. And before I even go into that, I just want to say that as you approach the upper echelons of society, the pyramid narrows. Because as you get closer to the top of the pyramid, there's a further narrowing of ideas to the point where the people on top, they don't care about politics. They don't care about political affiliation, religious affiliation. They care about money and power. And all of those dichotomies and divisions within society are just a means to get there. You play people off one another. The elites don't fight wars. They draft legislations which draft people to go fight wars on their behalf. The notion that the people pulling the purse strings of power are diehard believers like you, the peasant class, and myself in any of these different ideologies that they foist on the masses in order to keep people divided is naive and stupid. They don't care about the things you care about. People always want to project their own ideas and beliefs onto the elites and it's not always their ideas it's their nemesis ideas so it's the opposite of their idea so if you're on the left you think everybody's a corporate capitalist who's you know just out for themselves and doesn't care about anybody and if you're a person on the right you think it's all about you know the global communist conspiracy and that multi-billionaires not multi-billionaires like people who are darn near going to be trillionaires someday really care two craps about what Karl Marx has to say about manipulating society. Okay, so that that aside, let's just assume for a second that we're gonna we're gonna get into the mind of a person on the right, uh, because the common misconception I think, and I think one part of it is is fantasy too. A lot of people are talking about oh, there's gonna be a civil conflict in the United States and blah blah blah. There's never gonna be a civil conflict. For one, uh, cowardice is everywhere and everybody's all talk and no action. The only way there would be a civil conflict is if people were coaxed into one by the same war racketing uh, military industrial complex which profits off of every possible conflict known to man. Yes, war is a racket in case you didn't know and civil war is also a racket. Now this whole notion that we're gonna steamroll the left because they don't have the training, they don't have the tactics and all this stuff it's almost like a different rendition of the United States versus Iraq or some other small country that, you know, really has no real means to defend itself besides asymmetrical warfare or something like that. It, it, it's a fantasy because it involves full spectrum domination with the odd set of challenges to test your skills. It's a lot like the inch bag or bug out bag fantasy where you have $10,000 worth of gear and you're gonna go hunt a squirrel with it. But here's one of the things that people forget. Now, like I say, I don't believe in the political thing. I don't believe that the billionaires of the world care about uh, politics as much as they do, leveraging that for more power and control. That's what it's all about. It's all about power and control. So how are, is the left underestimated? Well, for one, if you are watching this video right now, you should know, and this is probably going to scare a lot of people. I don't want you to get scared when I say this stuff because it is what it is. It, the damage is already done. Uh, if you are using a computer, chances are part of that computer or software that you're using was developed in Silicon Valley and some multi-billion dollar corporation, which you believe is leftist, has total control over that information. So if there ever was a civil conflict and they wanted to harness this information to the fullest, you would be at a very significant disadvantage. Not only would they be privy to all of the communication that you've used on all of these mediums over the years, they would know all of your medical complications based on your search terms, they would know all of your fears, they would probably have a very in-depth psychological profile they would probably have a good inventory of all of the material items you possessed. 
because darn near all monetary transactions are in some way recorded to the grid and traced back to the purchaser or the seller using real-time super high definition satellite feeds of where you live I mean, we're talking about the NSA on steroids here. So if you use Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Snapchat, PayPal, any of these companies are all run by supposed leftist individuals. So the first battle you've lost is information. And I do believe that there is some, some software out there somewhere which is amalgamating all of these uh, different social media networks and even the the GPS coordinates in your phone you know how when you uh, concede your rights over to the certain apps that you download you let them know what your location is you let them hear your phone calls and all the rest there is some aggregate of all of this in information out there somewhere which is creating a digital rendition of you that probably can predict your behavior better than it you can predict yourself it probably knows when you're going to go to the washroom. It uses the different sensors in your phone in conjunction with the GPS. If you have a smart watch, it uses your heart rate. It knows your travel patterns every day. It knows your sleep weight cycles. It knows all your circadian rhythms. It knows all of your interests because it knows all your Google searches. It knows what you want to buy next. It knows what you're doing when no one else is around. And if you look around, if you have a laptop, if you have a video game system, there's probably a camera pointing at you right now. Even if you have a surveillance system, a lot of that software is going to be made by people who can could be construed to be being on the left. So while many people of the right wing persuasion like to dance around this notion that they are superior when it comes to actual combat, which they no doubt are, uh, they forget that the pen is mightier than the sword. The elites, the kings of the modern day, uh, they don't go to battle with them. They're used, they're exploited for God knows what nefarious end they have in mind. But in terms of who controls the information, information is number one. So with all of this information that they have on you, if they have this virtual you out there, which they can predict with 99% certainty, what you're going to do in almost any uh, situation that they put in, you put you into some sort of simulator, see? And this is purely theoretical. I don't know if this exists, but I can't see why it doesn't exist or why it won't exist soon. And of course, with that information, uh, when paired with modern military technology, would come full spectrum dominance. And remember what the, the civil conflict was in the United States. It was one where the federal government conscripted people to fight against the South. And so the same thing would happen. You'd just have the government who would conscript people to go to war with people it disliked. And they would use all of the information that they've gained over the last 15 years. At some point, I reckon that Google, Facebook, Microsoft, probably Android, which is run by Google, of course, um, Apple, all of these companies are going to either work together to create or there's going to be some external firm or maybe even the government that steps in and aggregates all of this information into what I'm talking about right here, into this virtual you. You know, we're getting close where we have the computing power to do that for the 400 million people on the North American continent. So in a lot of ways, because uh, many people on the right lack power in this regard, you know, I mean, one Silicon Valley geek can push a button and your account is permanently deleted. That's power. If you are not powerful in that respect, you have these people who are training in ways which obviously the postgraduate student who, you know, has lived in the city their entire life, sucking at the teat of some major big tech firm, can't compete with you in a one-on-one -on -one combat scenario, even a, an asymmetrical combat scenario. They could never compete. But what they could do in the here and now is erase you virtually, which it, for a lot of people to erase somebody virtually today would have a very significant impact on them if only psychologically. What I'm trying to say 
is that don't underestimate people just because they don't have the same skill sets as you. Because it's important to remember that the people who are ruling the roost right now are people who have a different set of skill sets. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. I've rambled on long enough. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Canadian Prepper out. The best way to support this YouTube channel is to support yourself by gearing up through CanadianPreparedness.com or BugOutRoll.ca. Premium quality gear at the best possible price using the incredibly secure and easy to use Shopify platform. We offer free shipping to the United States for orders over $200 USD and free shipping to Canada over $75. So support the channel by supporting yourself.